Ash is going to obviously destroy anybody. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't matter if he gets wrecked kind of hard. Uh, and doubles, you know, he has somebody there to cover a lot of his lag gear options. Exactly. Uh, which are all of them if you're Ganondorf. Yeah, and if you have a teammate, and you guys, you know, you're pretty decent, a very easy setup in most teams is just to grab someone. And that guarantees a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, a lot of damage they're about to take from that. So, you know, if you have, a, like, a, a fox and a Ganondorf, and the fox grabs something, Ganondorf's going to kill him. Like 60, 70 percent of the points, which is something that he, he simply can't do otherwise. Right, right. All right. So we're is is this at, tournament? Do you know? Okay. All right. So, so we're looking at Hood versus Dragon Iota Dragon right Iota. now. Um, Dragon Iota, not somebody that we've seen a lot at tournaments statewide, but has really made a pretty good showing here. I, I know that Ian said last week he went to something and got fifth place. Nice, nice. Fourth place. Yeah, he, he's placing like. Top 10 at events he's going to. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it looks like he's doing really good here. Yeah, and he's uh, he, a character yeah. that uh, a lot of people would consider like mid tier. Yeah, uh, low, low tier even sometimes. Uh, he, yeah, he, he informing me right now, he actually also plays Sheik and Diddy, so. So he prefers Dr. He, Mario over first place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's all over the tier list. So in this matchup, would you say that it's completely in Yoshi's favor? Absolutely. Um, you know, I guess Doc is wrong, but I mean, you, know, you can't. It's gonna be hard to get in. I mean, uh, we're also playing them. with three stocks right now. I don't know if oh yeah. Well, it's also on eight minutes. They're they're deciding to play it out. Yeah, they're just gonna they're play gonna it gonna out. Play stop it out. at one stock. Maybe, or they're gonna play the whole thing. I think okay. that, yeah, I think they're gonna stop at the next stop. Yeah, it doesn't that, look like it would go to time anyway. No, not but yeah, them. but yeah, yeah, not with him. Uh, Hood with some great juggles right there. Up there is a, a great way to juggle. Up tilt does really Ooh, good that into that. Very good B reversal to forward smash. Uh, and you know, Hood actually utilizes the B reversal more than a lot of the Yoshis I see, and that's a great mind game. I like right there, like, we yeah, see another B reversal. Exactly. Uh, he really gave up stage control. Probably wasn't the best idea. Left to his death, actually. Yep. GGs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hood, Hood also not really sure why he did that. No, no one is. Yeah, and uh, that that wasn't a rage quit. Uh, we originally started the game three stocks, eight minutes, so they they stopped once two stocks. Yeah, no, two stocks. They're gonna change it now. Had it been three stocks, probably would have been a rage quit though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have after that. Uh, all right, so we think this is in Yoshi's favor. What does Dr. Mario have to maybe? What are his tools against Yoshi? Get bodied. <laughs> get bodied. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, Yoshi has superior kill power. He's got some better projectile. Well, um, Yoshi does have ridiculous kill power, but that is something Dr. Mario also does have. Yeah, yeah. And, and Yoshi being a heavier character, that, you know, that does a lot. Um, heavier characters don't do so well against people who have really good kill power or setups. Uh, I just assume that Dr. Mario is probably very similar to regular Mario. Uh, okay, so like the big difference is, is Mario's faster on the ground, and his air comes out faster, okay. and his his recovery is a lot worse than Mario's. Gotcha. Um, but his forward air is a kill move, okay. his up B is a kill move, and his down B is a completely different move. He gets the tornado, yeah, the tornado Mario gets right. the... And the tornado is actually really good. Uh, Hood, I will say, actually doing a lot better job of zoning this time around, uh, rather than just rushing in. He, he was doing that a lot towards the end of the last round. Uh, Dragon Iota kind of got him figured out there, uh, and, and he was kind of rushing in and, and getting punished for it. Yeah, I don't uh, think I've seen Hood miss a single B reverse. He gets that every single time. Yeah, uh, Hood, like I said, been practicing the B reverse since day one. Uh, you know, Hood didn't really play Brawl before this. Uh, he played in the very early days, but not not really after the, the technical revolution of Brawl, right, if that was yeah. ever a thing. We keep seeing Hood get these... Like, Hood connects once and gets three to four hits every time. Yeah, and, and that's one thing I do think that Yoshi has over Dr. Mario, is combo potential. Is that true? Uh, probably... Is jab it, one? No, it's just like a... At, at higher percents, if they're off the side... Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, he was in the air. So he was he in the air jump. and off the side. Had he been on the stage, you probably could DI down and shield it. Uh, there probably would have just been or enough time just to just shield. Yeah, or just jump out of yeah. it. 
Well, that's something I noticed Dragon Iota doing a lot, is that he keeps landing right on top of Hood. Yeah, and, and that's not, not even, good for you. He's Yoshi. not even landing with the move. He's just landing. Yeah. Dr. Mario can land with Tornado a lot of the times, because that move actually has pretty decent priority, and it comes out very fast. Okay, okay. Yeah, and also, he could also, I mean, maybe not against Yoshi, because Yoshi has really good frames and he can attack a lot, but he could even, like, come down and then spam it to, like, stay in the air to like, maybe yeah. mix up a recovery, but his biggest problem right now against Hood is landing on top of him every time. Yeah, and you can't do that against Yoshi. Up smash is such a strong kill move, and if you're at low percents, uh, you're going to get something like up tilt, up tilt, up air, up air. Yeah, and you got 40 damage right there. Yoshi's right? very good at juggling, too. Up yeah, air absolutely. links into up air, and then it links into another up air. He also has great um, air speed. Yeah, good. thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very true. Yeah, Yoshi, fantastic airspeed. Also has great oh, options to cover your landings. Oh, yeah. Uh, between things like egg or jab even, you know, or excuse me, grab. You know, grab oh, yeah. goes really far. Yoshi doesn't have the best one ever, but, um, you know, you can get there to cover their landings. And also, Yoshi's so much better at landing than Dr. Mario. Absolutely. He's got B reverse to, well, actually, we're seeing Sheik now. Yeah, so. uh, Dragon Iota obviously not feeling too comfortable. We saw this match earlier, and I do believe that Hook won. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you can never underestimate Sheik. Sheik's one of those characters whose frame data is just so good oh, that yeah. once you've adapted to someone's play style, you, you can really mess them up. If you play correctly and don't take risk as Sheik, I feel like you're better off than going all in if you're outclassed by the player. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, you, you always want to stay at a certain range in a certain zone where you feel comfortable and feel safe going in. Right. Um, now, even if it's not necessarily the best one, if your opponent's not picking up on that, then, you know, you're you're, you're good. All right. Uh, and now back to Yoshi's landing options. I would say he's got some of the best in the game. Like, he doesn't have an up recovery like everyone else, but he does have the best double jump, I would say. Yeah. So, we'll say that... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we'll say that his landing options consist of down B, which comes very close to breaking shield. Indeed. Uh, down air, which because of the new update, you can't even let go of your shield yeah. if he lands it on your shield. So you either shield it and get a very small shield or your shield broken, or you get out of the way. Indeed. Um, uh, also, you know, Nair. Nair. Very forward air. Forward. Yeah, Nair's great. Uh, we're going to see Hood actually take the first stock with down smash yeah. there. And I would say forward air is the most least safe landing option, but if it connects, it's very good. Yeah, Hood uh, likes to space forward air a lot and does good with it, but at, at certain spacing, the, the end lag can hurt you, especially against a fast character like Sheik. We're going to see up air kill off the top platform. Uh, and also, B reversal, not only can you use it to get people in the air with it, but it's also very good for mixing up recoveries. Right. Uh, and now, you know, we're really seeing Sheik put on the pressure. Yeah, that was a very good string on the platforms. Indeed. Um, I've heard a lot of mixed feelings about where you should take Sheik. And most people say that she's better with platforms yes. than without. Yes, I definitely agree. Um, because like you were saying, you can kill off the top platform. Yeah, and, uh, and a lot yeah. earlier than normal. And that's the one thing she struggles with is killing. So the earlier she can kill, uh, I think the better off and she I've is. And I've also heard that the platforms help her combo more than they don't. Like, if you take Sheik to FD, it's easier yep. to avoid Good the read. combo than it is with platforms. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. And Hood with a great read there. You know, uh, it was pretty obvious, I think, that he was coming back on the stage. Yep. Uh, Hood didn't give up his spacing, didn't go with a dash attack or something, you know, he, he went straight for the safe option with forward smash. Uh, now this is going to game this three. Is, yeah, this it, is, it's that, that was right game now. three, actually. Yeah, it's yeah, one, it's one, two. two. So Hood lost the first game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Ian wants to be commentating, but doesn't have a <laughs> microphone. So right. All right, so we're looking at uh, game four. It's going to be uh, Sheik versus Yoshi again, which was the closest of all the games besides the one he won. Um, which, I'm not going to take away from this win, but Hood did SD. Uh, well, he didn't exactly SD. He, uh, he played body. very unsafe off stage. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. last time wasn't, wasn't good. Yeah. yeah, I would say that if, uh, if he's going to win with any character, it's going to be Sheik. How do you feel about the matchup in general? Not the players in Yoshi. Um, so not the players involved. Um, you know, I actually don't think this matchup is terrible for Yoshi, especially with the fact that he can kill early. He's decently heavy, and that's something that Sheik struggles with, is killing already anyway. Right. Um, you know, Yoshi's got great frame data and air speed. Oh, yeah. Uh, also great combo ability, which is something Sheik usually excels in. Yeah. 
Um, so I don't think it's the worst matchup in the world for Yoshi. I, I would even argue it could be even. That was a, a very good use of uh, a zoning is Hood's landing there. Uh, Indeed. Dragon Iota wouldn't let Hood touch the ground, and uh, he got a really good up smash out of it. And we're looking at uh, the same thing in return. <laughs> Yeah, indeed, and this has been a great start to the match so far. Um, you know, they've been trading it right here. It's super even. Hood with a nice combo to tack on yeah, some damage Okay, there. that right then was the second B-reverse Hood has missed the entire series. Yeah, he's usually very on spot with those. Sometimes I wonder if he does it by accident. Uh, I honestly feel like it's something that everyone that's playing against Yoshi needs to expect, but it's right. like that thing that you have to get beat by before you adapt to it. Exactly. It's very hard to be like, my opponent's facing away from me, so, so I'm okay. But Especially with, Yoshi, with a character not. like Yoshi, who has a, I don't want to say a weak back air, but that's not the first option you really expect yeah, yeah. out of Yoshi. Yeah, yeah, his back air is really good, but not for, um... That, Ooh, that, that, that was almost bad, but this is Smash 4, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. You did not die in this game, yeah, not say, even if you're Yoshi. I would say that up B is probably the best it's ever been for Yoshi. Yeah, absolutely. That, that they they buffed lot. it a lot. Yeah. Hood really still going for that um, the jab forward smash, and, and it's not true. Uh, we were just talking about that earlier. It's it's good if you're off stage or something, uh, but that, that was yeah. a good up smash. Yep. Uh, to sell it out by Hood there. Rolling that was game very, very that fast. was probably one of the best matches, uh, one of the best sets we've seen so far. Yeah, that, that was very uh, fast. Wasn't a complete blowout. Both uh, the people adapted very well. The last match was great. Uh, really even.